Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is Bella with Bella and the Phoenix. Hope you guys are doing well. Just wanted to also uh, say happy 1010 portal, happy full moon in Aries. <laughs> um, trying to get everything all perfectly aligned here in the screen. Um, I just wanted to do a quick reading for the collective, see where these energies for the Tenton portal is going to take you guys on a wild ride, I'm sure. <laughs> um, this is going to be the energy that's going to help you guys manifest, you know, the next 10 days. So we're going to tap into the energies and see, you know, what is going on for this energy that's um, culminating, <laughs> if you will. So, and also I wanted to let you guys know I did a 1010 Portal podcast on my new channel, Phoenix Heart. So I'm going to put the link down below here, but definitely check it out. And another huge announcement um, is that I am going to do extended readings again. So Depending on how this reading goes, I might go ahead and extend it and I'll put the link down below so that you guys can purchase it. So, so excited. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the Santa Muerte Tarot. I haven't used this tarot deck in a while and because of Halloween coming up, you know, I figured why not? Why not see what's going on <laughs> with this deck? Um, so let's see, Spirit, what's going on with the masculines for this 1010 portal? We have the the six of wands, and it came out like off to the side. So I feel like this is a challenge at the moment for the masculines. I feel like this person's trying to clean house, you know, like trimming down the weeds here um, out of their life. So that's very interesting. They have a lot of passion here too with the, all that red color coming through and this is very interesting but these cards fell out by accident but I feel like that's not an accident and I feel like this person is cutting things out out of their life because they want to trim the fat so to speak right like they want to remove anything that's holding them down so that they can be able to move forward towards their happiness okay so I feel like that that wanted to come through this is the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this person might be holding back from telling you the truth. But that's because they have to get healthy. You know, they have to take out the trash out of their life in order to be able to go towards their wish fulfillment. Okay. And interesting, we have the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is an energy about somebody that really wants to give you their heart because we have a lot of green here. So they're very passionate. They are trying to um, manifest a new energy here. And so with the six energy also, it's like we have two sixes here. So <laughs> that's very interesting, right? Because that tells me that this person wants to balance out the situation. You know, they want they want to make amends with you. They don't want to be in this seven of swords discord conflict type of energy they really want to send you some kind of communication that they're ready to cut out the the noise the drama the the things that are not serving them because they really want to get into their heart space okay guys wow um so let's see what else needs to come through The page of wands and there he is <laughs> this is a very interesting page of wands so yeah he's right look at that he's holding on to this little note right it's almost like he wants to message you some kind of playful message like hey i would like to get together with you but he's not going to be in a serious tone either you know because he wants to come off very romantic is what I'm getting, especially with all these roses here surrounding him. 
you know, he's got his hat on, like he's just ready to present this offer to you. And it could be in a very playful way. I think that's very cute. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. The sun at the bottom of the deck. So this person wants to come in and charm you. You know, we have a hummingbird. We have the sunflowers. We have the mariachi band, okay? <laughs> this person might be a musician. They want to bring you, like, you know, a token of their love. It could be through a song, right? They could play a song for you that they composed on their guitar. Um... They could send you a mariachi band. <laughs> do people even do those anymore? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. But interesting, because I feel like in that same way of that these cards fell out, I should pull out these two to clarify the page of wands. So this person has been developing this love over time for you. And it's finally ripe, right? Like the energy is ripe for the taking and they're going to take action with the tower. That's why I said with the sun, they're going to take action. So that's confirmation that this person is getting some kind of epiphany here that has been simmering and now it's ready to pop off, you know? <laughs> and so it's no accident that Mars came out because Mars is the planet... Um, ruler of Aries and we have the full moon in Aries right so yeah I feel like this person is ready to take action and, and destroy the old energy and, and rebuild you know rebuild something new and fresh because the energy is ripe you know it's, it's ready for it's ready for pickings <laughs> okay what else spirit what else do we need to know give us one more card here Wow, the five of wands in reverse. I'm telling you, this person wants to squash the squabbles, the conflict, the drama with you. Okay, let's look at it upright. Yeah, they're ready to spark this flame again. You know? So they're ready to honor you is what I'm getting because he's starting to, he, he's trying to light this, altar here so this person really wants to honor you because they feel they feel like you deserve that you know what I mean I feel like they sense that you don't want anything to do with them and and they know that they have to sacrifice right they have to sacrifice their pride their ego if they want to come forward and, and give you this offer they have to come correct is what I'm getting because I'm kind of sensing here you're like a queen of swords. You know what I mean? Like you shut off your heart to this person. You're no longer giving them any kind of attention. And they feel that. <laughs> okay. And, you know, bottom of the deck is the empress. This is how they see you now. Okay. They see you as the empress. They see you in your throne. Beautiful. Thriving. You got all those butterflies around you. You transformed. Okay. Okay. So maybe in the past, this person really hurt you, and that's why this um, heart is here looking like it's stabbed, right? But they might have hurt you, but I feel like you use that as ammunition to propel you to work on yourself. And and now it's like a, a badge of honor where you're like, if it wasn't for this pain that I went through, I wouldn't be the person I am today, which is the Empress, which is beautiful. It's a very beautiful energy. Right underneath that, we have the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, this person is ready to come home is what I'm getting. You know, they've been lost in the shuffle with all these people in their life, and now they're ready to come home to you. Wow, another tower again? <laughs> Wolverine and the tower. This is a Six of Swords here. So... And this is what the six of, um, that nine of wands reminded me of is somebody that's coming home after a long battle, right? And they want to finally put this to bed where you guys are not in this power struggle anymore, okay? They are determined to win your heart is what I'm getting. So they, they finally have experience under their belt. And so, yeah, I feel like they really want to make amends with you and 
let go of this conflict energy with the five of wands in reverse. Because I feel like now they see your value with the with the Empress. Okay. So let's get some more Oracle cards here to see why is the six of wands here spirit? Intimacy. Yeah, they really want to bond with you, okay? That's why they're cutting out the nonsense out of their life because they miss that energy with you where you guys um, had this spark, this chemistry that was off the charts, <laughs> you know? And they've been confused about why is it that they can't put this fire out, you know, ever since they walked away from you. And I feel like for this 1010 portal energy, your person is going to communicate, you know, that they know they messed up, right? They know that they were free falling into the deep, um, I'm getting like the underworld. They had to go to hell, <laughs> especially with Pluto going, going direct. I feel like that's very indicative of the energy because this person had to go through hell in order to learn that what they had with you was heaven. You know what I'm saying? It's very, it's very much like that. Okay. So what is this tower? Because we got two towers here. So, I mean, that's very insane. I feel like that energy has been coming up a lot. The tower and specifically the tower and the uh, Ace of Cups has been coming up a lot in readings that I've noticed on YouTube and also in my own readings like it's insane <laughs> but i would not be surprised if that comes out wow you see how all these came out so what very interesting i might pull these for the um, extended <laughs> but because obviously those cards popped out for a reason so then we have here ecstasy you know right when i'm talking about the ace of cups Somebody wants to be happy again. They want to start over with you, right? They want to be happy and have good times with you. It has that energy. They want to feel that high that they felt with you again. Because honestly, I feel like this kind of love that you guys have is so special, so unique that your person had never felt anything like it. And, and neither have you, right? And so I feel like your person misses that, right? They miss that bonding spark with you. They really want to come back in and take action towards you because you gave them that ecstasy, that high, right? You made them feel like, you know, things were possible here. Look, the bottom of this stack that fell out is sorrow. They feel this grief, you know, for going through hell and now wanting to come back towards you. You're, you're like their, their haven, right? So, <laughs> what else, Spirit? Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? Yeah, they're lusting. That's why the tower is here again, okay? Because the tower can speak to about somebody having a desire to take action, but it also could signify somebody's lusting after you. And here we have clarification. This person has a lot of pent-up sexual energy that they want to let go of because i also get here because you guys have some kind of conflict that you have to resolve this is like they want to have that makeup sex with you <laughs> okay yeah because there's there has been a lot of pain here in your connection that your person i feel like i picture them like kissing uh your wounds you know what i mean like um it just gives me that vibe like they just want to kiss over your scars you know even if they're not visible um, but it's like they want to, they want to relieve you of, of any pain that they inflicted within the connection or anything that you've been hurt by. That's what I'm getting. I don't know why, but I just am. <laughs> Underneath that, we have one day. Yeah. So one day they're going to come in and, um, get into this energy where they want to relieve the, the tension or relieve the pain. You know what I mean? Wow. Look at the bottom of the deck is death. Like they want to end 
that old chapter that you guys had because they they want to move on from that they don't want to harp on that energy anymore they want to go through a rebirth with you and it might happen right now during scorpio season coming up okay and we have pluto here so pluto is definitely affecting this masculine where he's feeling that pull to want to purge things from the underground right like do shadow work and really get serious about you know transforming out of this energy into a rebirth right i love it okay so let me pull some charm cards before we go into the extended just to see what else the, ch the charm cards want us to know spirit told me to use this deck today i don't know why <laughs> But I was like, okay, I am obliging to, you know, what spirit wants us to know. First card out, we have fairy tale. I love this. I feel like spirit wants you guys to start believing again if you stopped, okay? Um, because you guys are being held by spirit. I feel like that's, for some of you who may have lost all hope, Spirit's carrying you through this. It, even if you can't walk anymore, Spirit has you on that little carriage. You know what I mean? And taking you, taking you to the castle. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have flag, pride, okay? So for some of you, you might have felt like this person um, has so much pride in how they carry themselves that they shun you in some type of way. But... I'm getting here that, yeah, see, and they're going to express this to you. Like, they know that they were very prideful, right, in how they handled the situation with you. And they really want to express that they want to right the wrongs because that's why we have that message that came out in the beginning of the reading. This person wants to message you and make amends with you because they're, they're feeling the passion, okay? <laughs> They're feeling it. Yeah. And, and they're getting evidence about this that the passion is like you could cut it with a knife. You know what I mean? Like the energy in the air. And they're being guided to come towards you with inner guidance. Okay. They're doing a lot of reflection. They have looked within themselves. They're starting to realize they want to have this happy energy with you again. Yeah, they want to play with you. Remember we saw the Page of Wands? He's on a swing. Now we have the snowman. He wants to build with you. Be playful. If you live in an area where it snows, they want to play with you in the snow. <laughs> yeah, they fantasize about being in this happier energy with you. And I feel like that's what's driving them to finally put one foot in front of the other and, and be on track. You know what I mean? Like... Finally, take those steps to go towards you, to go towards the castle, right? Even if you might have locked yourself up in that castle. <laughs> but underneath that, we have the masking. So I feel like this person no longer wants to mask that they're fine without you. They really want to be honest with you and tell you, no, actually, I'm not doing fine without you. I want you in my life. And... You're, you're the person of my dreams. And this is going to be like a tower for you, right? Because you're not going to see this coming. You're going to be like, what? I thought that we were done. You know what I mean? And, and now you're going to get evidence that this person really wants to come back in. Yeah, it's going to be like dynamite. Look at this bottom of the deck. <laughs> Passion, action. Okay, we've been talking about that. Okay? They're breaking up with... Anything that no longer serves in their life. This is the Leo energy. They're ready to take charge and go towards change. This is the catalyst for change. They're exploding with this energy that they want to go towards you because you excite them. You know? And this is going to come in fast, okay? Blast from the past. It's going to be like dynamite. It's going to pop off, okay? Fireworks, okay? <laughs> like, stand back because the energy is... Coming in hot. Okay, guys. What else, Spirit? Wow. Right when I'm talking about it. Bonfire. Okay. <laughs> this energy is hot. Coming in hot. Watch out. I'm telling you. It's a spark. Ecstasy. We saw ecstasy here. 
There's no accidents here, okay? We got two cards talking about ecstasy. Get things going. Orgasm. Okay, I mean, I told you guys. It's going to be popping off in the bedroom, too. So, <laughs> this person is burning for you. Like, I just heard that guy, you know, I did think of uh, Bridgerton when he tells you, I burn for you, right? And look at that. Winter. Winter is coming, guys. <laughs> Okay, this energy, I don't know if your person's name is John, John Snow, but that's coming through too. Maybe you guys like Game of Thrones, but I feel like this person no longer wants to play games of them being, you know, all powerful. They want to come in as a page and, and start over with you, you know, and that's very good. That's a very sweet energy. This try to come out in reverse, but this is Scorpio energy. Moving on, no one's home, cycle completion, final endings, beginnings, the void, vacant, separation, making adjustments, lonely, new life, graduating. So this person is ready to take flight, right? Like if they've been stalling to not come towards you, they're moving on from that energy and they want to have a new life with you. Look, and then we have flag again because I feel like spirit wants you to know that this person was in their ego and pride, right? They thought that other things were more important to conquer, but they needed to conquer their own inner journey, if anything. And now they really want to come in and, and win you over. That's what I'm getting here. Beautiful. One more. Yeah, very likely they're coming in. At this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. So that's spirit letting you know that this person cannot stop thinking about you. They don't want to start a new life without you because they already feel lonely. They want to make amends with you. And they have a plan to, you know, knock out the competition here. Especially if people are vying for your attention. They really want to come in and say, uh, no, she's mine. <laughs> They want to make some counter moves here, their power play, you know, I just mentioned Game of Thrones, like they want to win your heart because they know that they um, abandon you in a way is what I'm getting. So this person wants to start over with you, okay? So we're going to pull one for the romance angels and then I'll, I'll pull some more romance angels in the extended along with all these cards that popped out so if you'd like to join me there definitely do so i will love to have you guys there and um but this is so weird i only wanted to pull one and, and two other ones came out so i'll show the other ones in the extended <laughs> But yeah, this person, we have a swing here again, okay? Nothing's an accident, like I said. This person is curious to come in and tell you, I want to have fun with you. I miss this uh, energy where we we were both having so much fun together and you made me feel like a kid again, you know? This person really feels that energy with you. And they're ready to let go of control issues, okay, guys? They're, they're really wanting to unmask themselves because we saw that masking energy. And they're ready to let that go. Okay. So, and the extended, like I said, we're going to pull what these are. That's going to be interesting. And then I'm going to use this deck to clarify these. And then we're going to use some tarot. We're going to use this deck to do the tarot. And then we're going to use these to clarify. And so I'm just going to ask, like, what is this new 1010 portal going to bring? Like, go into more details about that page of wands. Like, what is it that he wants to talk about, right? Because in this energy, he shares that he wants to make amends with you. But we're going to dive deeper. Like, okay, what, what exactly are you wanting to say? Just so that you guys have a heads up. Because this is a tower energy, you guys. This is coming in hot. And, you know, I feel like Spirit wants to give you a heads up. <laughs> Because even though you might still be shocked, when you look back at this reading, you're going to be like, oh, I remember Bella, you know, talked about this in her reading. And so we're going to dive into those energies. And the fact that these all popped out, um, we're going to see, that's going to be the whole extended, clarifying by these and these. So, and then a little bit more romance angels. So... I'm so excited. I haven't done an extended in a while, so I hope that you guys do join me and 
yeah, I definitely check out Phoenix Heart. Okay, because I just did a reading over there. It's not a reading. It's more like a energy reading, but it's a podcast. So I still think it's going to be very good to listen to it because there's a message in there from Spirit that I wanted you guys to know. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Your person has been hiding their feelings this entire time, even from their friends. Even if their friends told them, oh, this is what you should do, they never told their friends, well, I actually love her. You know what I mean? It's so interesting. And you know how we saw the tower earlier, right? I feel like some of you are going to find out, maybe through the grapevine, that this person 